Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I made these resin bookmarks. I will have all of the products that I used listed in the description below. And if you guys have any questions or comments, definitely let me know. So before I actually get started, I wanna make sure that my surface that the bookmarks or whatever resin molds that we're working with are completely level. So I have a couple popsicle sticks and my level just to make sure that everything is level. And I've mixed up a total of 40 milliliters of epoxy and I just kind of measured it with the water first. So I poured the water into the molds that I was using to get a better idea of how much epoxy I would actually need. And then I just measured and mixed accordingly. I'm going to start with the larger one first. So I took 20 milliliters of epoxy and then divided it into two medicine cups for this one. So I am using, this is like a matte almost, uh, hexagon mix white glitter. And I'm gonna add just a small amount to that 10 milliliters of epoxy. And I'm also going to add a small pinch of this pink mica powder. Now, I probably could have used just the pink glitter, but I kind of wanted to try something different. I wanted to see what the effect of that white glitter with that pink mica powder would do, and I think it's really pretty. So from here, just mix it really well. Obviously, I have mixed all of my epoxy before we started doing this, and I am just gonna pour this one in um, half and half at the same time, so half of that 20 milliliters of epoxy with the pink glitter, and then the other 10, that is remaining is just our clear epoxy on the other side. I'm gonna take a popsicle stick and just kind of drag the pink into that clear so it helps soften that line. And I really don't, I, I overfilled it a little bit. I guess I didn't measure properly. So I'm just using a little syringe and putting it back in one of the medicine cups because we don't want to waste it. And I am gonna be putting a decal on this one and I'm also gonna be doing a top coat of resin. So I did just kind of slide some of that excess epoxy out of there so it wasn't overflowing and seeping over the edges. Moving on to the other two bookmarks, I'm going for kind of a beach theme on this. So I just took that little bit of remaining epoxy that was left from the first bookmark we poured and I'm adding this really beautiful gold mixed glitter. This is gonna be the sand. And this is pretty, pretty thick. Um, I added quite a bit of glitter to a very small amount of epoxy. I didn't even end up using all of it. Just kind of like a couple drops on the bottom and just kind of maneuver it so it flows and it kind of looks like, you know, sand. Now, this is the 20 milliliters that we had setting aside. And this is just clear epoxy at this point. And I'm just gonna put a small line down right over and next to the sand. And then I'm adding a very small amount to a separate medicine cup. And I put a little of this, I think it's like a mermaid color alcohol ink, a very small amount onto my popsicle stick. So kind of would be absorbed into that popsicle stick. And then I mix it into that epoxy. So I'm looking for a really, really subtle change in color. And what I'm gonna do is gradually build up this color. So I'm gonna add a little bit more alcohol ink to my popsicle stick. And I'm just, one, this is a nice way to not have to mix up a bunch of different epoxies with a bunch of different colors. You can slowly build up so your color gets darker over time. And that's what I'm doing with this. Just slowly building up that color and pouring it right next to the previous strip of color that we did. So same thing, this is a little bit of the epoxy that's left over. I'm gonna add a couple more drops, this time making it a little bit more pigmented than the last time. And it's still, 
I mean, it's still kind of transparent. It's not as concentrated and pigmented as the mica powder, so you're still able to see through this. It's just kind of a, like a watery teal color. Now I definitely could just add the alcohol ink straight to the epoxy, but I can always add more ink. I can't take it out once I put it in. So by putting it on the popsicle stick, it kind of absorbs into that wood and I can control the color a little bit better. So I think this will be it. I think I'm pretty happy. It's getting pretty dark now. And this will just kind of be our final little pour just to blend all of those colors out. Now I'm using Counterculture Artist Resin. It takes about six to eight hours to really kind of cure and be able to touch. It will still be pliable. Definitely make sure that you are leaving them on a flat surface. Otherwise your epoxy is gonna kind of, you know, run and move and your bookmarks or whatever mold you're working on won't be level. Um, I'm kind of just spreading it out a little bit if you have too much epoxy in there you don't want it to overflow you don't want to have to do too much sanding keep it as smooth and even as possible i'm then going to come in with my heat gun on the lowest setting and really get in there and pop those air bubbles i don't want to use a torch because the torch will you risk melting your silicone mold and I'm just kind of maneuvering these alcohol ink colors and really, really popping all of those bubbles so we get a nice flawless finish. So again, we're gonna let these cure overnight and then we'll come in to the second process. Now, I saw this really cool video on Instagram. I will definitely tag her account, but I'm going for, um, like beach waves on this so we're going to be using uv resin this is from let's resin and some white alcohol ink so just a very very small amount of white alcohol ink in a very small amount of your uv resin you really just want to use a small amount because if you put too much of any sort of additive in that uv resin it's not going to cure properly so I'm still going for kind of like a, you know, transparent color. I want to still be able to see all of that beautiful turquoise underneath this white. And I'm just going to take, uh, this is like just a metal stir stick that I stir my epoxy with and just kind of spread a really thin layer over that turquoise section. Now again, this is the UV resin mixed with the white. We're going to cure it under this UV lamp that you see. But before we do this, we're gonna come right in with the UV resin that's still in that container so you have your little dropper and drop little tiny droplets of the UV resin and it's gonna leave you with this effect and when you stick it under that UV lamp, it is going to cure just like that. So I did 90 seconds, I believe 60 the first time and then 30 a second time, whatever manufacturer's direction said. I'm going to repeat this on the other bookmark that we're doing. So again, just a really small amount for this part. Spread an even layer over there. Try not to get it too thick of a coat. You don't want it running off the edges. Try and clean up your edges a little bit. And then you're going to just drop the UV resin the unmixed straight from the bottle in little droplets on top of that white. This is such a cool technique. I really can't wait to try this out on a cup. If you guys have made something like this, I would love to see it.
All right, so this is after both of them are cured. The edges are still a little bit rough and you can definitely feel that UV resin on the top. You know, it's kind of bumpy from those cells or bubbles that we created. So I'm going to put a decal on the other one. I just did a simple name decal and then we are going to put a final top coat over all three of them. So I've already mixed up about 10 milliliters of epoxy. I mixed it really well and I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes while I sand and clean up these bookmarks. I'm just using a 120 grit sandpaper and going over the edges and I really wanna make sure that I let my epoxy sit for a while. The thicker it is, the easier it's going to be to work with, and I know that it's not going to just drip and run off the sides. So that's why I mix it before I start sanding, and I let it sit for probably about 10 minutes at this point. So I do have these propped up just in case they do run. I won't have them, you know, stuck to whatever. I probably could have just put them on a silicone mat, but whatever. So just a small, small strip. I don't even think I ended up using all of this 10 milliliters of epoxy. This is the counterculture artist resin that we're using for the top coat. It's what we did with, you know, the glitter and the alcohol inks as well. And again, just coming in with my little metal stir stick and smoothing it out on the edges, trying to really make sure that I don't get too much and this resin is thicker than most resins to begin with and when you let it sit for that 10 to 15 minutes it's really not going to go anywhere once you put it on whatever it is that you're working on so i'm not worried about it coming off of the edges we're going to let this again cure for um, at least six to eight hours i let everything sit overnight and then we'll be ready for the finishing touches these are just an assortment of bookmark ta tassels i found on amazon Really simple, you're just gonna thread it through the little loop and that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, it would really mean a lot to me if you did that. And again, if you end up creating something like this or similar, please feel free to tag me on social media. I would love to see it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.